Hello and welcome back to another Triple Threat unboxing video. Today we have an Ipsy mystery bag unbagging or boxing that we're going to be doing today. And then like last time, we are going to be creating a character inspired by the contents of this very bag. And then we're gonna be creating a makeup look with whatever makeup they decide to give us in this very bag. And because I did it last time, I know I can do it again, all in 20 minutes or less. Well, not that we're doing it in 20 minutes or less, but the video will be 20 minutes long or less. All right, let's open this up and see what is inside. Okay, so first things first, I want to say this is not the monthly subscription bag. This is actually just a mystery glam bag that I got. I got this just because I did sign up for the subscription, but I it was too late for, to get the May one, so I signed up for June. And I wanted to get this so I could do a video in May and while I waited for the June one to arrive, but this actually came really, really late. Like, it took a while, but I understand because of all the situation that's going on, I, I'm, I understand that it took a lot longer to get here than probably is typical for Ipsy. But also I wanna say the colors of this on the website were a little bit different. I thought this color was orange. So this was a limited edition magic hour mystery bag, which is what I liked. It seemed like a nice sunset kind of going out look. Um, these colors are a bit brighter, but even still, um, we will definitely be able to work with that. I think this is gonna be a big source of inspiration for whatever piece I decide to do. So without further ado, let us open it up. Okay, so you kind of can get the first peek and I'll just reach in. This is the per pearl. <laughs> I cannot read that. Perlis, Perlis. Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Cleansing Milk. Gently cleanses skin, removes makeup, tones, and soothes soap and sulfate free for all skin types. Okay, so there is that. And then the next thing I'm grabbing is this. This is 9J24 Antimatter Lipstick. So let's open. And there's a barcode right where it needs to open. Okay, took me way longer to peel that than it should have. And it is in this color. Oh man. I just know that... Um, this is not really a great color for me. It seems a bit light, but I'll definitely see if maybe with a lip liner, we can kind of work this out when I put this on. And then next up, we have this Hemp's Pure Herbal Existent Original Herbal Body Moisturizer, Hydrate and Nourish. It smells really nice. It smells pretty uh, fruity, fruity. Kind of like a tropical fruit. That's the best way I know how to explain that scent. I should actually smell this too and see what it kind of smells like. This one just smells kind of like soap. Okay, sorry about that. My sister just came into my room, but the next thing I have here is this, this Auto Bomb Girl Powder, Cheeks on the Go, and it just looks like this. And it's so cute. It really just like reminds me of a like license plate kind of thing for the Girls on the Go Auto Bomb. So I will go ahead and swatch this for you right here. Very powdery, very light very pink but i actually really like the color i'm kind of into that so that's nice next things next and last things last i have this ahava time to hydrate essential day moisturizer moisturizer for normal to dry skin so just another moisturizer two moisturizers hmm okay this smells like another clean yeah, it was just a kind of clean, girly kind of scent. Okay, so here are all the items. And again, there was two moisturizers, two makeup things, and one cleanser. And just kind of in hindsight, I spent $14 USD on this. If I were to kind of go back in time and know kind of what was in this, I definitely don't think I would have bought this. Just because with the way this bag, this mystery bag sounded like, it sounded like it'd be a little bit more makeup heavy, kind of capturing that magic hour glow. It says like the about this project, capture your best light with five surprise pics inspired by that just before sunset glow. So I kind of expected more like, not two moisturizers, but maybe something that had more glitter or something just more warmer tones. And these things, again, these are both decently pale pinks. Again, I think I like this color. I didn't swatch this, but let me do that as well since I'm here. Yeah, they pretty much match each other, which is nice. Um, that lipstick is a really pretty pink color. I'll definitely have to see how that looks. 
but I did figure that these were going to be more like on the warmer tones, like oranges and and stuff. I did figure that I'd get a few uh, skincare kind of products. Definitely something that was more about radiance and capturing that glow. But I did think more maybe there was going to be something like a glitter eyeshadow or just something like that. I don't know. Like two moisturizers and none of them are going to be like glowy or like tinted or a bronzer would have made more sense, I think. Like something like that, a bronzer or highlighter or something like that. So enough about that. Um, we're going to go ahead and create a character inspired by this and then I will try these things out at the end. Okay, so for this painting, I was inspired by the makeup bag, the stripes and the tassel at the end, also the blue color in the packaging of the cleanser, and then the pale pinks and the blush, and also the pale pink and the lipstick. I thought this would be a nice color palette to work with, and I really like that they gave us that. So I was pretty much inspired by everything but the moisturizers. And as per usual, my sketch turned out pretty horrible, but I think I was able to get a basic idea down, which is all I pretty much need to kind of get myself into a nice finalized piece. And that's what I kind of worked with. So as I was drawing this, I really struggled for some reason with getting the drawing right. I kept having to erase. The proportions were a little bit off. This is something I always struggle with and it's something that I'm trying to work on a lot more this year. But for this picture, it really was like pulling teeth when I was just trying to work through it, get her to look proportionate and accurate but struggling with that a great deal. So I kind of had to go off camera and just finish that off. But after I did that, I really liked how she came out. She kind of reminded me of a girl, maybe 14, 15, going to her first dance and just a little bit embarrassed that she has to wear a dress and has to look cutesy when she probably would prefer more of just like regular fun street clothes. And I also went with a brown skin tone for her. I wasn't sure what skin tone I wanted to do. I really thought I would go with something more pale, but I really like pink and brown together. So I just, I couldn't stop from myself from doing that once I thought of it because I loved it. So with the blue, with the packaging, I knew I wanted to use it for the clutch, but as I was drawing this off camera, I wanted to do something a little bit more with the background, not something just boring like a stripe or a circle. And then I looked at the packaging a little bit more and I saw the lotuses and I said, oh wow, yeah, this is really pretty. I think this would be a great thing to add. So I added that and I think it was just what the piece needed to balance against those warm earthy tones, having that nice pop of blue in the background. I'm really glad I was able to do that and I'm glad that I didn't just go with a straight. And interestingly enough, this is not a color scheme I would have chosen myself, the pinks, the blues, the yellows, and the browns, but I think it worked well in this piece just the way they all came together, which I'm glad because I don't actually do color swatches for these, so whatever I put on is whatever is going to go on, and I'm glad that that was able to work out. Also, trying to add extra layers of blush and shadow really didn't work out well for this piece. For some reason, the watercolor that I put was lifting the color beneath it, and you can see that a lot in her back leg where there was just kind of a lifting effect and kind of this blank area where it should be darker but it looks a bit lighter and that was very frustrating but that's something I always have a problem with watercolors but overall I am happy with how this piece came out and if you want to know what supplies I use that will be all linked in the description below. Okay, so I am back and a lot more close up. So I went ahead and did some foundation, did my eyeshadow, all that good stuff. I know the bag didn't really give us a lot of makeup, gave us just two moisturizers and a cleanser and not a lot of makeup, but I went ahead and just kind of did my look the way I felt the bag kind of described itself as, as that afterglow, dust kind of look. So I did add a nice little sunset look <laughs> to my eyes and I did do some bronzing. I don't know if you can even really tell, but kind of darkened things up a bit, made it look a little bit more intense. And I did do a wing eyeliner this time. Aren't you guys proud of me? That was hard. And I know they're not even, so don't look too hard, but that's totally fine. So we're gonna go ahead and, and apply this, which again, I really like this. This is so cute. I don't know what it looks like on me, but I really like it. Also, please no one judge me. This is my blush brush. I do not have a lot of brushes, but now that I'm getting makeup beauty subscription boxes, I'm hoping that they'll be kind to me and one day give me one that has a handle and maybe a little bit of a better shape. But as for the time being, we'll just use this. It is, it is probably way too bright for you to see. I don't know if you can tell that there is some pinkness going on. I can see it a lot better without so much light. Um, I think you can kind of see it. I don't know, but I can see it and it looks very nice. It's very 
nice. It's not too overpowering. It's not too colorful, but it's exactly what I want in a blush. Just like a little bit of pinkness instead of a whole big situation where I, where I look like one of those drawings from back in the day or any of my artworks where it's just, hi blush, that is your entire face is blush. So no, I, I do, I do like that. Yeah, and this is such a cute little, you know, it's a little magnetic case, the way it closes. And this just really seems like a great thing to kind of keep with you because I do have blush, but it is connected to a, a, a bigger palette. I don't have any like individual pots. So this is something that I definitely would take like on the go if I'm going traveling. That's really nice. So this lipstick, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to just apply it to my lips. As you can see, I definitely have like a darker color upper lip. So if I just apply this, I'm going to look crazy. <laughs> So instead, I'm just gonna go in with my lip liner and I'm gonna, and it's, it's a very dark lip liner, but I think it's actually gonna work pretty well. I don't have a lot of lip liners either, either, but I guess you're not surprised by that anymore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go around and then I'll use the lipstick on top. And I won't fill it in, I'll just do like a line and fill it just a little bit. Okay, so I went ahead and added the lip liner and I did want to do some shading. Like I didn't just put a thin line, I kind of blended it in to kind of contour the lips. Um, I didn't want to fill them all the way in just to see what this lipstick looked like on its own so you could still see it on my bare lips if it looks okay or not or if it's very see-through or patchy but I did kind of reinforce the lip liner just so it isn't so light and jarring against against my skin tone but let's go ahead and apply this and see how it looks okay so I went ahead and applied that and I think the pink it, it is a little bit more purple yeah a bit more on the purple side definitely a bit more pale purple barbie-ish light pink purple shade and i don't think it necessarily goes with the eye look that i did at all so i probably should have done lips first then figured out an eye look but i think it's overall it's fine i definitely think we needed the lip liner just to kind of you know contour it out and actually make it look very wearable very nice and soft yeah and i i like it i think again i don't think this this lip and eye look this is very orangey and red and i didn't expect the lipstick to have that purple kind of undershade to it and i think they're kind of contrasting now that it's on but you know what we learn things as we go along that's what we do on this channel we learn things so i do like it overall and you know not not bad for a mystery palette unfortunately i didn't get to try the moisturizers on i didn't really wear them i probably should have but at this point i'm not going to even though they're right in front of me i could do it I'm not going to so we'll just end that there and this was the art piece that i did um if you guys can see it and yeah i really i don't know if you can see too i use a sparkly blue i've been a fan of a sparkle shade so uh this was the thing that i did and i wasn't really liking it for a long time as i was drawing it but as i started painting it i really did start to like it and i added the line work i did like it a lot more and i think adding the lotus flowers to the background just kicked it up a notch i didn't want to do something boring last time i just did a circle and i was just thinking of doing like a stripe in the background but i knew that was going to be very boring so i'm glad the packaging of this kind of worked to our advantage with the little lotuses i thought about adding the lines that were even on this packaging with like the lotus and stuff but i didn't even like adding the outlines to these i think they looked really like i think it looked best when it was just the light blue idea of lotuses in the background but overall again i like this i like this piece i like her warm tones and then the pop of the blues so that is pretty much it for this video i don't have much to say this again wasn't a subscription box it was just a mystery bag i don't think i'll be doing more of the mystery bags anyways and unfortunately i couldn't tell you like what the prices of everything was there wasn't an insert but again i bought it for 14 dollars so I think that's, the most, that's probably the most important thing you need to know let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching for taking the time out of your day to see me here. I hope you guys have a great day, a great week, a great life. Um, please subscribe if you like this content and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.